Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Sukodin 3. In the last episode, we defeated the Lizard Clan. And now we're gonna hear what the Harmonians have to do. Or what they have to do with this whole damn thing. Alright, well, let's go. Let's go do something. What's our next motivational point now that we've attacked the Lizard Clan? Do you have any idea what I'm supposed to do? What brand of tea do I recommend? Hmm. No idea. Maybe I should take a nappy poo. Is Lewis in here? Hey, Lewis. Right, apparently I'm not supposed to push myself too hard, but just hard enough to where I won't die. Anyways, let's look at that evasion ring we won from uh, the thing. Not bad. Uh, I'm not, I can't equip it yet. Maybe we'll hold off for it for someone else. Now if we head out over here, I think... This is the, yeah, this is the west side of the castle. West side! I think we'll see some characters here. Hey, Salome! Or no. Not really. What is it? Milady. Yeah, what's what's the deal with the Harmonians coming to invade? Oh shit. Why are they planning on moving now after fifty years? Why? Is the flame champion dead? Do they not fear us anymore? Sons of bitches knew beforehand and they didn't tell us. What the hell? The council's no good. We need to go. We need to pull. We need to go do a coup de gras. I think that's what it is. A coup. Let's do a coup. A military coup and take over the council. Kill them all. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Oh shit! Those bastards! Yeah, come on, let's go pawn them. Let's go. Let's destroy them. Here's what we do instead of going to question the council, we bring everyone back there and we arrest them all. So now she's going to go off on her own. Oh great, Chris is going off on her own now. I mean, not like she can't handle it. But now I guess we're going to go speak to the council. Destroy them. They must all die. There's no reason for for the council. My beloved homeland. Where where is your beloved homeland? Is it in the Torn Republic? Maybe. Hmm. Do you know Kirkus? What about the Stallion or Sylvina? And now they open up a couple new areas which we can go to eventually. But for the time being, let's continue plot-wise into the Zexan Force. Oh, Lewis is with us. Are you ill, madam? Maybe 
maybe you're having, maybe you're gonna be getting a fever or some shit. You better watch it. Anyways, let's head this way. Uh oh, Chris has gotta deal with. Oh, okay. I was gonna say if it was those shades, we definitely gotta use. Uh, Stop that magic shit. Ooh, we got some items. Suzuki or... Sukiyaki? Let's use this teriyaki chicken since it's not fresh anymore. And we don't have a refrigerator to keep it cool. Maybe if we salted it. Salt, you know how it works. Oh, we got one bunny. Yeah, I'm just gonna show this in battle. Shouldn't take too long. Chris is pretty beef as it is. You don't have to worry too much. Maybe you should have took another buddy with you, huh, Chris? of her horse. Excuse me, kitty. Now she's gonna have a flashback. And I, again, I apologize about these flashback scenes. There's not much I can do about them. Where's Daddy? He promised me he'd be back today. Why isn't he home yet? Lady Chris. Why isn't he coming here? He is coming back today, isn't he? Lord Wyatt has more business to attend in the grasslands today. Grasslands? So that butler is sort of like her Alfred, or... Yeah, cause, and the, you might as well call him Alfred. If he doesn't have a name, I'm going to call him Alfred. So she just had a dream about her father. How the hell, where the hell are we? Oh, thank the goddess, you're awake. Yeah, how did he get him back, to, how did he get her back to Brass Castle? Oh, Lewis. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Yeah, these guys like you. And I don't mean like, well, some of them like you. Yeah, see, they they all respect you as a lady and a military general and all that. At least Percival speaks his mind. <laughs> Precisely. Precisely. See? Yeah, where is Salome? Yeah, see, he, uh... He's almost as hard-working as Chris. Thank, it, th thank goodness he's number two, you know what I'm saying? Yes. There's no point in staying out blood of Chris, isn't he? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Look, she's got like a little boy troop all for herself. Isn't that nice? Everyone to worry about you. It's a nice feeling. 
You know what I mean? Wonder if Salome got back? Probably not. Tell me what brand of tea. Yeah, I'm, I think we just gotta start to leave or something, and then someone's gonna tell us to do something else. Actually, give me a sec. I, I want to double check something. Alright, I know what I'm doing. I just want to make sure there was, a, there was a point in which I would be doing something later. But w don't worry about it. I'm not worried. Not worried whatsoever. Anyways, let's head over here. Maybe we'll go talk to... See if we can go after Salome or something. Hey, here's Percy. Let's see what he's up to. What's up, Percival? Yeah, well, you should... Ixay Village? What the hell for? Oh, it's a harvest festival. I remember in Thomas's, uh... I remember in Thomas's, uh... Chapter, they were all talking about a festival. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna go on a date with Percy. No, I'm just joking. This isn't a dating simulator game. It's just Chris and Percy going out to go see the festival and relax. Sounds like a jolly good idea. Maybe we should invite. Maybe we should invite, uh. Roland, no? I haven't seen many, um, in this, in this game or series, I haven't seen many, uh, interesting, uh, you know, like, elf, human relations, you know what I mean? Alright, so all we have to do is just head north. Alright, let's just keep heading north. But yeah, if Roland likes Chris, then... I wonder... I wonder... Oh no! Damn, we have to go the other way. I'm so dumb. Go, horsey, go! Yeah, apparently they want you to recruit Watari with Chris, but I already recruit him with Thomas. Because Chris is probably the only group that you have that actually's got that money to be doing it. But I leveled up, uh, I got enough money with the team man to get Watari, so I'm not worried about it. But yeah, here's the festival. Where everyone's gonna get drunk and have well, lovely food. I was gonna say, how can't Chris know that, uh, Ixe is where this place is? I mean, she should know. I mean, Zexan area. And yeah, the goddess Sadie, whoever she is. I should. I was born here. So yeah, this is Percival's hometown. Yeah, even though Chris is the leader of these guys, she doesn't really know much about their history. Oh, his mom. Oh. Oh. That's nice.
Oh, now she's gonna start calling him Percy. See, this is the fun part of Chris. She can be a little playful or whatever. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's check out this festival. What's happening here? Anything cool? Liquor and spices and everything nice is... Right? Yeah, so apparently they all pray to this goddess Sadie. Which is cool. Seems like a proper festival. So let's go see the windmill. Enjoy the breeze. Relax. I know she's the captain of whatever, but... You know, even she's a human, she's gotta be able to chill every once in a while. But which side of the windmill am I gonna watch? Left or right? Chickens. We're like in our own little Denmark here. No, 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 no. Netherlands. Sorry. But then again, maybe we're more in Kansas with all the world's wheat or whatever. I think Chris kind of feels pretty moved by this sight, I think. You might make the sun blush. Ooh, this guy's... A hey, look who this guy is. M this guy, his name is Nash, uh, Blake G or something like that. And some of you might might be familiar with what he who he is. He's actually the hero of the Suko Gaiden series. And uh, yeah, I am gonna play them after this game. I just kind of want to introduce Nash in this game, and then go back and we'll see what he's all about. But um, yeah, Nash. I'm not gonna tell you where he's from yet, but he plays an important role in this. Uh, I'm just gonna say you're a big talker. My missus always says so, too. So it must be true. Missus. He's 37, holy moly. Only an idiot with fur with a captain is excellent. Is that favor? Who's they?
What the hell? Am I supposed to be seeing something here? Holy God, it's lizard men. A ton of them. That's classic Kurosawa right there, you know what I'm saying? Is this like an FMV? Yeah, Nash is pretty awesome. He's got a double bladed thing that's pretty cool. He's got a he's pretty good with he's proficient in whatever rune he's got. Water. Yeah. This guy's awesome. And a man who unexplainedly appeared in modern grasslands and Zex and Gomblick. So let's head back. Little girl, you should probably go hide somewhere. Protect all of you. Maybe, I don't know. I'm... Oh shit, they burned down the whole thing. Uh oh. Yeah, where are the other knights? Where are the lizard men? Oh shit, the Kyrian people are here too? They're running around like chickens without heads, though. They're looking for someone to fight. Is that what it is? So here we go. Fight two on two, maybe? No, two on three, four. What? That's not fun. All right, let's just take him out. So yeah, Nash, he's got these cool... Oh, he's not using them in this game. He's got these cool swords he uses. He's like a dual sword user guy. Ow, yeah, wow, wow. Um, yeah, use this, I guess. Yeah, he's fairly proficient in the water movement. As well as, uh, Percy. Is. Well, Percy. Nice parry. Ow. All right, now we can work on playing him again. Nice dodge. Nice defense there, Chris. There you go. What was the deal before you began whack like crazy? Mega Madison, very nice. All right, where's the rest of these lizard jerk-offs? Yeah, two against the whole bunch. Hey, here's Percy. All right, Percival has joined the group. Nice. Oh, now we gotta take on Kyrian and Blizzard people. But four on three seems like better odds. Nice dodge! See, this is the kind of stuff... Ow. I think... I think it also helps, depending on what, what way they're looking, that they'll actually, like, dodge stuff better. Ow, 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 ow. What are you doing to poor first verse? Heal yourself. Also, heal you. Kindness drop is good. I will admit it's not too bad in this game because it heals more than one group or more than one person, so that's kind of nice.
Alright, more Mega Mass and a damaged helm. But, can we hold off these lizard, these unified grasslands force and uh, take it to the streets? We'll have to find out in the next episode. This has been Kench1913. I'll see you later. Bye bye.